Hi guys, I saw a Pinterest and I thought, you know what, why not do it? I'm doing it as a gift for family. So the board itself was like $5 at the dollar um, general store. They had everything on clearance this weekend for some reason. I think they're renovating, whatever. Anyway, so I took my Cricut, put the last name in the family, and then um, I put the months here. And I put these little hooks that I have here for jewelry making, if you can see them there. I used them and I bought these little wooden uh, plywood pendants. They're like little teardrops. And I've been uh, doing the little hole at the bottom. You see how this one doesn't have it? Um, been doing, um, well, double hole them. And the only reason is because I am gonna take my Cricut and I will be putting the name of the family member with the birth date here and then i will be hanging them depending on the month that their birthday is so i'll put some of these uh, little wood beads that i found at hobby lobby of course not 5.99 i bought it uh half off the little teardrops here were 4.99 and they were half off as well so as soon as i finish this little project i will show you how it looks and if you're wondering how I am doing the little um, holes here, I have a tool, which is this. It is, um, I use it for leather. When I do my jewelry, I use it for leather, but you can do, you know, different, you can use different materials. Since this, since this is just a very thin plywood, you see how thin that is? Um, I haven't found any issues going through it and, um, yeah it's super simple i've created these so when i am done with the full project i will show you guys but i will only be hanging these and then i'll be creating names and birth dates separate to put it in now i did have an idea of possibly uh put uv resin with some type of um mixture of color and then on top the name but i think because this is wood i think the wooden name with the date would be so pretty just by itself but there's multiple options for you to do and create like different things with it anyway i think i'm having a good time with it and it's a great gift for the family so i hope you enjoy it so there are a couple of ways that you can definitely hook these here one of them being using some jump rings and I have three different sizes here so I would take like the biggest jump ring I have and just try it let me show you how that would look like you need some flat nose pliers I have two of them right here let's grab one of these if you have never worked with jump rings before the jump ring has let me see if you can see this here the jump ring has a little opening here in the center you want to grab with both pliers and then you want to separate them front to back. See how I did that twist there? Front to back. And then when you're close then you put them back again together. And the reason you do that is because you don't want to open it or you don't want to twist it wrong or do it wrong because they will break. Okay, so let's see this size right here. I can put it through that works and then I could possibly put it through here let's see now this is going to be a little bit tricky because let's see if I can I'm going to hold it with both sides and then I'm going to close it I think I did it right okay so now here's the tricky part uh, you see how this is going is sideways like that only because let me see if I can zoom in only because let me move this this is sideways is straight up and down well, what i would do is just tilt it sideways like this and then now when these hang they will sit straight like that so i could hang one here and then another one here and so forth and so on so it goes down uh, so let me do the next one here again Again, we grab the jump ring. You have to find that opening right there. You'll find the opening. Once you find the opening, grab it sideways like this with both pliers. And then you go front to back. You see how that opened there? That's what you want. You grab this, put it through. 
and then you're gonna have to like put it through that little loop in here now this is gonna be tricky because I have to close it <laughs> and I'm in the wrong position here to be honest with you to look at this this is the worst position ever if this was uh, straightforward then instant like up then I wouldn't have an issue oh okay so if I had this standing up like this this wouldn't be an issue but I don't have another hand to hold this let me see if I can lean it here there we go and now I'm gonna open this front to back again see I'm gonna grab it and put it in there oops do not fall put it in there okay there we go and then I can hold it from here and close it from front to back there we go and there's it's closed now you see what I was saying this is straight and this is I'm gonna move this here this one's straight and this is sideways. You want it sideways only because you want the little wooden teardrops to be sitting correctly. Does that make sense? They're gonna be sitting like this. Okay, so when you hang this, see if I can zoom out a little bit. <laughs> when you hang them, they will all be hanging super cute correctly. And then you can definitely, you know, put the names. Now, this is what I would do. I'm just showing you how I'm going to do them, but I would never put them here. I would first do the name and then I would put them here. That way you don't have any issues taking these in and out. Now, here's the other part to this is that you can definitely get some hemp or get any type of cord you want. And let's see if I can find, there we go. can get some hemp. And you can definitely go through the little loop, you know, and tie it and then cut it and go <clears throat> tie it in here. Put it in one of these, you know, uh, you can put, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the hemp. I'm going to put one of these wooden beads in between them because although these can start like this, like you can put this here and then have the mix of having a little knot here and then the little wooden bead in the next one. That's what I want to do. So let me, let me show you really quick. So I would do, put it through and then do a little knot. It doesn't matter how the knot looks only because you will be cutting these. So it doesn't really, really matter. So I'm just going to do a pretend example here. And then this one I'm gonna cut probably, I don't know, two, three inches or maybe one and a two inches. Just cut it there. I'm gonna grab my little beads. One or two beads, whatever you want. Put it through here. And then hang the next one from it. that's how they would hang very natural very cute and when you put it up you have a little design there super cute 